Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Welcome back to Syntax Byte. In this video, I've got a quick Excel for Mac tutorial for you. I think this is the first Excel for Mac tutorial that I've ever done, uh, but we're gonna do a quick Excel for Mac tutorial. Um, so if you go over to Excel on Mac, you don't have in this get data power query, you don't have the option to get data from a table slash range the way that you do in Windows Excel. And now I find this a very useful feature when you might be copying and pasting data into Excel and then doing some transformations on it. Uh, and you want to be able to replace that data in the future with the same sort of copy and paste without having to do those transformations again. So I find that's actually one of the top times that I use Power Query. It's not just for getting data from external sources, but when you know you might need to copy and paste data a second time. Um, and there's no option for that here. There's to get data from a workbook, but it opens uh, the file browser, um, whereas you just want to get it from right within this, uh, right within this notebook. So um, what you can do is you're going to go ahead and select your data and you're going to make sure to do the step of formatting it as a table. So you do that format as table. My table has headers. Good. Now, of course, all these people and these emails uh, don't actually exist. This is a uh, dummy data. Uh, that I just downloaded from the web. So just, just to uh, make that clear. Um, here you can see right now the table name by default is going to be table one. Um, we can name it something more descriptive. Um, I can call it name list. Uh, or you could just leave it as table one. It doesn't matter, but we are going to need to know that name uh, in just a moment. So with that being done, what we can go ahead and do now is just go over to get data um, we'll get, get data power query and we'll just select a blank query, okay? And in our blank query, we get source equals and then uh, two uh, quotes here. Uh, and then so we're gonna go ahead and type Excel, the current workbook, and then uh, parentheses, and then you do uh, curly brackets, square brackets, name equals, and then that name we made earlier. So mine was name list. And then uh, in there, we're going to do at the end another square brackets content. And if you go ahead and say next on that, you should see it load in that table and perfect. So now uh, we're right where we would be if we did uh, select from table range after highlighting the data on Windows. So that's uh, just a quick tip on how you can go ahead and uh, do that in Excel for Mac, why they haven't added this into the UI. Couldn't tell you, but that's how you do it uh, if you don't have the option. Hopefully that was helpful, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome Excel tutorials here on the Syntax Bite.